Hey guys, welcome back to the Birmingham, not Birmingham, Wolverhampton Wanderers career mod. Bloody hell, it all came back to me from the previous game, yeah, but now we're in the new game, FIFA 21, and now we're on to episode 3. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and really help me out, bottom right hand corner, leave a like, comment while you're over there, share this video with your mates, let them know that we're in pre-season, we're going to try and win this pre-season trophy, but we're also going to be playing our first league game of the season hopefully as well as getting some transfers done center back we need and a cdm as well so we're going to just simulate ahead to this olympiacos game very big team probably the hardest team so far in, the, in this whole competition um yeah we're gonna we're gonna simulate the game uh we've got a transfer offer from Borussia Dortmund for Al Jimenez you must be joking if you think 40 million is going to be enough I'm going to reject that he's our important player our most important player so that's not happening uh, we've got player chat, Mears, I've changed my mind about selling him, I'm going to be selling the other young striker as well. Um, Mir, we need a backup third striker, so I don't want to sell too many strikers. So I've swapped him out for the other young one. Uh, you're valuable, so you're staying, even though he's not going to be playing, he's just going to be a backup. We've got some really good strikers on loan though, Kutron, 75 rated, 22 years old, he's in Italy now, I think he's playing for Florentina, so he can be one to look out for for next season maybe i could bring him back now actually but i'll give silver the young signing a chance just just like in real life um yeah so before we go ahead yeah we're going to simulate this olympiacos game then after we're going to have like two weeks before the first game of the season against southampton that's where we're going to strike we're going to get that cdm done we're going to get that center back done i've had some really good suggestions especially by jawad my good mate and also in the comments below always sending me good tips and tricks for which best transfers we should go for and he's given me some good options and luckily some of the options were already scouted for as well so yeah in those two weeks we're going to scout assess our options and we're going to show you what we made what we're thinking of and we're going to buy our players hopefully it will be less of a mess than last time i got david brooks in last time right right winger slash right mid 20 million pound deal could have got daniel james messed that up but we kept Connor Cody as a, uh, as a result. We're going to start Connor Cody this game. I've replaced him with Boney. And with the whole this with the, all this um, plus one, plus two system. That's really his OP could be actually. There's a lot of every career mode. Every career mode. If you play career mode. Then you're going to have this where every player has plus one, plus two. If you play them right. They're in the right mood. Right sharpness, everything. So Cody's up by one. So he's the same rating as Bowley basically. 80 rating. And Cody is the captain. And I like having a left footed centre back and a right foot centre back however most of my centre backs in my short list are right footed but the fact is it doesn't really matter too much I'm, I'm, I'm restricting my options to some really good players and if, the, if, they're right, if they're both right footed so what as long as they're fantastic players and we've got some high rated options on our disposal we've got 70 million pound left to spend um, but enough of our chances let's get this game out of the way some of our players are a bit tired before we start this game so I might just swap out a few midfielders we just haven't got enough midfielders anyway, but we're going to sort that out after this. Um, yeah, we can give Brooks his first game, why not? That's a good thing about having backup. I know we've got Neto as a spare winger as well, but he's a little bit lower rated. He needs a bit more training before he's ready. We'll give Jordeo a go. We'll give... Yeah, obviously, I, I forgot that Ferrero is on loan, which is a shame. But, do you know what? Maybe we could buy him if we, if we feel like he's good enough. How old is Ferreira? He's like, he's 20 years old as well, so he could be a decent player for us, even though he hasn't got any face. But it's alright. Uh, Johnny's going to be a left back sooner. Very, I think after this match, he's going to turn into a left back, so that rating shouldn't be too much affected now. To be fair, he's pretty much staying 81 rated anyway. But yeah, we'll give Traore and Nevers a rest. And yeah, but pretty much the same starting lineup. We're going to simulate this game. Jordeo's minus 2 in the rating, but it's fine. It's only a preseason game. Oh, I've quick simmed it by mistake. Oh crap, I, I quick simmed it by mistake. Oh god, I'm such a. <laughs> oh my god, why am I making mess of this career mode already? I'm just pressing all the wrong buttons. Oh my god, we lost 4 3 on pens. I could redo the match and like pretend like this intro didn't happen, but we might as well just move on. No, we lost 4 3 on penalties. We probably would have lost anyway, because Olympiacos are a good team. But to be fair, we held out to a pre uh, penalty shootout, but fortunately it wasn't meant to be. We've got two and a half million. We got an extra mil before anyway, so we basically got four extra mil, which isn't that much considering we've got that financial takeover. But to be fair, we'll take anything we can get, um, especially with my negotiation skills. <laughs> um, we'll accept that loan to buy offer for Richards. And now let's, let's find it. We might as well just get on to the transfers then. Fortunately, we weren't able to get through to the 
pre-season trophy final, but um, it would be nice to play that game before we play our first game Premier League, but it's fine, it's fine. As long as we get the transfers in, that's what's more important, really. And, yeah, so as you can see, McNeil is still there in the options. We failed to get him because he, he couldn't leave anyway. But we, it's not about him. It's not about the wingers. It's about the midfielders. And we've got Ndidi. He could be the option for us. The quick option. The quick, proper first team 11 option that would just go straight into the first team. 84 rated. 23 years old. But he's very expensive. That's why we're going to scout other players that we found. Like Sakaria. Who could play centre back and centre mid. Thank you, Jared, for all these suggestions. Tonali, Kamara, Kamara Konate, Tapsoba. All of them were Jared's suggestions. But to be fair, my scout found them as well. So everyone's thinking on the same wavelength. The game, me and you guys so obviously it doesn't mean when the transfer window ends and i sign some center backs in EDMs, it doesn't mean you can't stop recommending me players always do so in the comments below for january and beyond so but yeah right now we've got upper benicano um he's a good he's a great obviously he's, he's the biggest name out there biggest young center back he was linked to many clubs over the summer in real life and he could be a fantastic player for us but i have a feeling he'll be very expensive um, Zakaria though, he looks like to be the real deal. He's not too expensive, he's a little bit cheaper than Ndidi we could get him for. We couldn't, if we actually neg negotiate right, then we could actually do something better than just paying 75 million outright, because that would just blow, that's like basically our transfer budget, we can't do that. But the good thing about Zakaria is that he can play centre back as well. Very versatile, you know me, I love versatile players, but also it fits, because my defensive formation is 5 3 2, going back to that Nuno Espantos, his way of playing if we go defensive so if we go defensive Sakari can just slot into the center back role really well and just join the center backs in the back three um if we need him to but obviously he's a fantastic cdm and a center mid to be fair tonali can also play no not tonali not tonali not tonali can't say his name properly kamara can play center back as well and he's a younger option much younger prospect 20 years old french he could be a good young player to develop and be to become that first team over time uh, Kamara could be the player I put, f uh, put faith in as a youngster and alongside the experienced heads of Martinho and Neves to help him settle in. Tonali is also a young person but he can only play centre mid CDM but there's nothing wrong with that necessarily because we've got Dendonka in the bench if we need to use him. He can play centre back and it's not the end of the world we want to play more attacking football anyway. Uh, so yeah there's a lot of good options that we're working with CDM and centre back we've got Canate as a centre back we've got Upamenicano as a centre back we've got Tap Soba as a centre back haven't really heard of Tap Soba but there's some really good centre backs coming out of the Bundesliga especially from RB Leipzig the Canate Upamenicano pairing Canate could be a good cheaper option if we can't afford Upamenicano so yeah for centre back option I'm not sure who I could get it just depends on the price CDM I am leading towards Sakaria really he just seems to fit the bill he seems to be the big signing that we need i know brooks is sort of a good signing as well um but zakaria would be a good realistic but also superstar signing he could just go into a 90 rated player in his career and it would be fantastic but um, I'll, I'm willing to give Tonali and Kamara a chance we'll wait till the scout reports come in same for the centre backs of course and then we'll make our decision let's just simulate ahead okay we're gonna quicks in this training day obviously i think it's the same drills we did last time last episode we got the a a and c i might have to improve that c rating later on and especially as if i do extra other drills other training sessions i need to try and actually practice them and get the a on every single training drill that i do so every time you simulate you get a good rating and you improve that sharpness and you improve the fitness and all that good jazz but i'll do all of that off screen i think we showed enough last episode uh johnny position change option yes he is now a left back Fantastic. Kamara, we've got a scout report for him, which is good. Yes, Johnny is now a left back as well as a left wing back. Officially, he can play that position already. But let's go and actually do it. To go into development plan. This is going to be the first play I've ever done in terms of changing position. It's so, such a good feature that it should have implemented ages ago, but now you can. Triangle, and now he's a left back. I've got my trophy. Time for a change. And yeah, it's not really a huge change. It's just more of an obvious choice because we're playing a back four now. But obviously, you can play that left wing back role if we go into a defensive three of the back formation, as we've said before. And look at that. See, he's now rating up to 81, a plus one. So he's already making an impact, which is good to see. So yeah, another training day. Keep on simulating it. Get those uh, backup players some good training, as well as Brooks, I think. Yeah, let's try and skip ahead here because we need to get these scout reports so we can assess our options. Richards has been loaned out, which is good. 
Barcelona want Val Jimenez. He's a man in demand, which makes sense, to be fair. He is a trustworthy striker for us. Even in the simulations, he's been proving really good. Uh, but I'm going to reject off. I'm going to block all offers, actually. I just, I just don't want him leaving. He's that, If we lost him, it would be a shame. We need him for this season, especially. We can think about getting new strikers in the long term, of course. More young, hungry. Uh, that can improve over time. But even at 29 years old, we can, we can keep... Uh, him and there's a high level of course with the training we can keep all the players as well at a good level if we want to do that Brentford wants Kiltolano which is good we'll delegate that one of course it's good that they can now offer loan to buy options to AI team which is always good to see the tra another training day let's just check what players I'm actually using so I know what I'm doing yeah so we've got books in the training we've got Podents who need a bit of who have a room to grow so yeah just making sure that I've got the right training drills and players on. And as you can see, plus 8 for Traore, plus 8 for Jimenez. Now, this is where it gets important. The sharpness has been getting to the first Premier League game. We haven't got two hard matches. It's not like the biggest challenge, but it's still going to be... Every match is still going to be a challenge. We're not the biggest team yet. Um, they want Dendonka into Milan. Is looking to offer Alessandro Bastoni as part of a swap deal. I just feel like Dendonka is a good player for us. We don't need Bastoni, even though he can play centre back and 75 rated, 20 years, 21 years old. Inter Milan must know that we need a centre back, but I don't think Bastoni is as good as the options that we could afford anyway. And Dendonka is a great centre back and centre mid for us anyway. You can play CDM as well, even though he's not officially CDM. Um, I should actually do that now. Uh, I'm going to reject that offer. It's a it's a good offer to be fair. I like how again AI teams are more realistic, sending more different dynamic options. To to make you think about if you want to sell this player that you didn't think of selling beforehand just like in real life but nah it's not happening today yeah that reminds me let's actually like make then not get officially a cdm because he can already play that pretty well in terms of that position so let's do that here that should that shouldn't take too long maybe a bit longer than the four weeks that uh, johnny got let's check so we want him to be to be fair we can change players to turn into different types of players like stopper or sweeper we will get onto that with other players in due course. Two weeks to turn him into a CDM. That should be fine for the rest, first first day of the season. He'll be a good backup CDM for us once we get the proper CDM coming in through the transfer market. But it's a good option. It's a good option. Yeah, so we can change him to a CDM. That should improve his physical. That's fair. His physical is all right. Defending mainly, to be honest. Yeah, if that makes sense. Passing, dribbling as well should go up. 25 years old. He's still got plenty of room to go. So yeah, that should get him ready and rolling for the first game of the season when we need him in the backup. It's a great backup for us. He can be a first team if he needs to be as well. Which is good. The sharpness isn't looking good to be honest, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe hopefully recovery and rest days help. We've got so much training to do, that's why, because there's so much the time between uh, the preseason game and the first game of the season. We've got I think we've got our final scout report to a lot of players now. Now we can now we can assess our options. Neves. They want to offer Sergio Ramos. What is going on? Um, Ruben Neves, 23 years old. I forgot how young he is. Bloody hell. It was crazy when they got him in the championship, didn't they? That was bloody mental. But yeah, 89, 89 rated. Uh, no wonder they want Neves. He's so young, so much potential to turn into a top class CD sentiment. He already is, to be honest. But yeah, we no, we don't. He, again, another centre back, but he's older. He's going to get younger. And we want someone for the long term. We want someone. We want a team that's going to grow into the top team, top man team. Um, and Ramos just isn't part of our plans. He could. I could if I wanted to go for experience straight away, go for a short term option. He would be the one. But no, it's an interesting office, but I'm not accepting it. Especially for a player like Neves, who's so instrumental for our team. We need as many midfielders as possible. But yeah, we've got a scout report now. Now we can choose. We've got Upamecano, 79 rated. He's about. In between 42 to 61 million, which isn't too bad. I think they're all around the same price point. We've got Sicario already. Tonali, 77 rated, 20 years old. Not too far off Sicario if we can train him up. He's two years younger as well. Four star weak foot, three star skill moves. Better weak foot, which is decent. Very cheap option as well, 23 million. And so if you want to save money to get an even better centre back, maybe, then he could be the one. Same for Kamara, I'm assuming. Yeah, like 25 mil. 79 rated, even higher rated than Tonali, and he's in the same age, so Kamara could be the one, depending on which centre, if how expensive we go with the centre backs, 
forget Upper Minicano or Kanate. Pretty much the same age, Kanate and Upper Minicano. Bit cheaper as well. I don't know why, because they're both just as good as the other, to be fair. Maybe one lower rated, but Upper Minicano is the higher prospect. Uh, Tap Soba would be the cheap option. 21 years old. Now, to be fair, he's the same, same price, to be honest, as, as Kanate, really. Upper Minicano being the bigger option. But Upper Minicano has. Kanate is taller than Upper Minicano by 2 inches, which isn't. Does that make a difference? But let's. Tapsorba's got a trait, power header, I guess. That's good. You'd like to see that. And obviously, crosses are better this game. You can actually score headers this time. Um, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So, if we go for Sakara, we'll go for a cheap centre back. We'll have money to f uh, spare. If we can be flexible, if we can negotiate, right? So yeah, I think Tonali would be a good option if we want to save money, and we could look for bigger centre backs. You know what I mean, like much better centre backs. But again, I want to go for their youth team, and I, and there's no re there's no problem with leaving money for January, you know. So do you know what? Let's just go for Dennis Sakaria. Let's go for him. And Tonali of Kamara, there's still good options for the future. If we could consider getting them later down the line, they can play centre mid as well. Tonali as well if we need him if we need him to get into the squad but Sakaria is the priority I think let's go for him I could pay the, the release clause we're not gonna do that that's stupid let's try not to pick the bad options let's not try to accept any swap deals that we don't want to accept read the pro read the notes properly Sid and don't make any mistakes these are big signings we're trying to make now we're trying to improve this squad and try and get them ready to qualify for Europe in Champions League or Europa League we're just gonna start with his base value just test the waters of what they want to see 45 million obviously i don't think they'll accept that <laughs> I'll be, I'll find, i'd love it if they did i'll add a selling clause at 20 percent just to sweeten the deal it's just the tactics because you're never going to sell them on really especially if you're doing the career mode where you're getting the young players in so that could be a good way to try and soften the deal try and get them to accept even if you're not going to sell them on because it's, it's, there's nobody really, there's nobody really loss of anything if you do a selling clause unless you actually plan on selling them later you're getting an older player it just only benefits you makes it more likely for them to accept but i don't think they're going to accept to such a young offer yeah young offer a low offer 57 million to be fair isn't too bad but we'd have 70 million left which isn't the best money left to be fair we've got a lot of wage so we can just adjust it later let's try and edit the selling clause give them even more of a selling clause 20 percent, 25 percent, mate and try and get them to a lower offer yeah propose new transfer fee Instead of 57 mil, let's go for let's go for 50 and a half mil. How about that, lads? How about that? Come on, that's not too bad, is it? That's a reasonable offer. We've reached an agreement. I could have even done a low offer to be honest, but we'll take it. That's a realistic offer for such a good player. 50 million. Looks like we're gonna get him. Let's try and adjust the wages now. We're in the restaurant now. Look at me with my top hat. I love my look that I've created. But yeah, he wants a crucial role, which makes sense. Just such a versatile player. Centre mid, centre back. We need players in those positions as well. So it's great to have in the squad all together. Five years. That's alright, mate. Calm. Why is um, Zakaria's agent got a Coventry City badge? I guess he just supports Coventry then. <laughs> That's a glitch. Uh, release clause, no. We'll just accept everything. I can't be asked to adjust the bloody bonuses. We'll give you the bonuses of extra mil. As long as you come to our squad, you are our biggest player this transfer window, it looks like so far. It's only getting bigger and better from here. We've got our second signing, and his name is Dennis Sakaria. Thank you for, uh, thank you to the audience. Thank you to Jared for recommending him. I, obviously, I found him through the scouts anyway, and he's such a good player. And you can't, you can't help but not look at him. And he's now part of the squad, which is good to see. 50 million, not too expensive. Still got money left over to buy a good centre back for the future as well. And he's going to be a great player for us in the future as well. There he is, in the middle there. Let's get him into the squad. Then Donker could be a great backup as well for us. Just a lot of flexibility in lots of positions, which is good. That's what we like to see. That's my style. But yeah, we needed a CDM for the new formation we're playing. And we've got one now. It's Sicaria. He's straight into the squad. Look at that midfield. Neves, Matinho and Sicaria. The stuff of dreams. You love to see it. Uh, who sh should Bolly be in the bench? I don't think Bolly makes the bench, unfortunately, which is good. Which is good in a way, because you've got reserves who are good now. That's when you know your squad's stacking up. We need squad depth in, this, in, in lots of areas, especially midfield. 
and yeah, we're trying to build stuff now in the midfield and defence. Trying to get more good centre backs in the pipeline for both. So when we do qualify for Europe, we can withstand lots of competitions at once. You know what I mean? Okay, let's just simulate further, get closer to the match. Then we'll sign the centre back. Let's choose who we're going to go. Let's go for training. Just lots of lots of training. The morale's going up. To be fair, they're getting excited for the new season. It's Premier League week, as you can see from the background. Yes. A week to go until Southampton. We want to try and get all our transfers done before then. Let's try and get our centre back. Who are we going to sign? We're going to sign Canate, Upamecano, or Tapsoba. We haven't got a lot of money left. Let's try and adjust the money to just give us as much chance as possible to get what we want. Just the wage budget a bit. We basically got 30 million. All right for it, but it's all right. Upamecano, 42 million will be too expensive unless I want to save up for another another day, or I sell a player that we need to, that we can raise funds for. Konate would be a good one though, he would be fantastic, 13.5 million, that's the minimum price I'll be looking for unless I can squeeze less off, less uh, valuable offers, a more cheaper price, that's, shall we say, with a sell-on clause. Tap Subba though, he's still expensive as well. Sell some players before we can actually do anything, which is a bit annoying. Uh, who have we actually transfer listed? We haven't transfer listed anyone of real value to be honest, maybe I should do. Maybe we should sell someone like Bolly to get another centre back in. What do you guys think of that? I think Bolly is a very, very good player, but he's not really doing anything, and he's, we don't really need him anyway anymore. You know, unless I sell Cody instead, who was long thought, thought, up, thought after by other teams last episode, or the episode before that, in the first one. Uh, who should we go for? You know, I think I might sell Cody. You know, I just might sell Cody. Just because Bolly is just it's just he's just taller and I don't know how how, how tall is that to be fair Cody's alright. It's just they're pretty much the same level so I can afford to do that. So I can't do that. Cody was the former captain, I'll keep him here. I'll keep him here. We need some English people, we need some uh, British people in this team. You know what I mean? Just meet the quotas and we'll try and sell Bolly then. He's already in the reserves anyway. Let's um so if we can get a transfer for him can raise funds to give us more chance of getting these players we want. Get a Canate or Pivon Nicano. There he is, Bully's gonna get transfer listed. It's a big big ask, but he's worth a lot. It'll be worth a lot. But can we sell him in time? I think we've got a whole month to go, but I'd rather do it before the transfer uh, before the Premier League starts. But if it happens to be that we have to transfer someone in after the matches, it's not the end of the world. We've got good players in it. Anyway that can steady the ship for now, especially as the teams aren't the top six teams at least yet. We've got a transfer offer from Miranda though, which is a tra another transfer we'll be looking for. Extra million won't hurt if we can uh, get that through the line. We've got a youth monthly squad report. We've got Vasquez, Mulder, Abdullah. That reminds me, I need to f I need to try and get youth scouts to get more players in the squad, but Vasquez already looks sick. Look at him. Se 17 years old and he's already got 81 to 94 potential. Fantastic stuff. I might sign him already. I'll sign him another time. Remind me to do that if I forget. Yeah, Bo Bolly is uh, really surprised, but I just need... I'm looking at options, mate. I'm just looking at options. I'm being honest, Bolly. I'm looking at options for a, a centre-back for the future, and we just need to get someone out before we can... We can buy anyone. Sorry, mate. Kamara's been approached by... Piamente Calcio, also known as Juventus. They've received the offer two, twenty-two and a half million for their player. Kamara was that CDM, wasn't it? But I've, I've already signed my CDM, so it's not too bad. So, we're just looking to get centre-back now. And then Donk has got his position changed ahead of the Southampton game, which is good to see. Uh, we can attend the press conference now, yeah, screw it. Screw it. Get the morale up. It's already high, to be fair honest. But yeah, first press conference ahead of the per, per, uh, the post-match. Uh, first press conference ahead of the game against Southampton. First game of the season, first press conference properly. And yeah, I'm happy what I got here, I'm happy. Just the time, just um, making sure that I trust these players. Even though I haven't got every signing yet, we just need to make one more signing. And we'll be good to go. But I don't think we'll have time to sign him by now. But we've got Sakari at least, at least, so he's gonna be a big plus for us. He'll make a difference. And yeah, the morale's very happy. Great. And that just like we wonder, like, what's this pink hair? What's this guy doing? God. <laughs> but yeah. Then Donker's now a CDM properly. So he can be a great backup centre mid centre back slash CDM. 
again, just like Sicario almost. Very versatile backup. And we can tra if we train him up, then he could be a starter. You never know. He could work better than other players, especially as Neves and uh, Moutinho are getting older. Can't can't shy away from that. Yeah, he's now a CDM. It's good. It is weird because then Don Donka can play cent centre back, but it's t it's just OCD thing. It's like you don't have a proper centre back at on the bench and Bully's there. You know what I mean? He's just right there. Have I made the wrong decision trying to sell the guy? I might have, you know, I might have done that. Because if Dendonka comes to the CDM, then who, we, who, who else have we got, you know what I mean? Because Ferreira's, I swear Ferreira's on loan, so we need a backup centre mid, more likely, more likely, but Sakari is the one. But it's just a lot of versatility. It's just decisions, decisions. If nobody, no, someone's going to come into football eventually. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Um... But yeah, I trust Cody to start on size. Let's see how they do. If maybe Cody struggles a bit, first couple of games, maybe Bully is the one, proves himself, then maybe I'll put him off the transfer list. We'll see. You guys can let me know below as well if I don't manage to get the last transfer in at the end of this game. Okay, enough hesitations. You just got to focus on the game now, Sid. First game against Southampton at the Molyneux Stadium. We're at home. We expected a win, but Southampton got some good firepower, especially up front. Che Adams, he's a great player for Birmingham City back in the day. Of course, I know from Birmingham City career mode, but he never got. To, it was a shame I never got to play with him in that sense, um, in the squad. But yeah, because he, he went to Southampton, didn't he? So, but the Danny Ings is the striker. Four four two, they're playing. Interesting. Danny Ings is on fire right now. He's rejuvenated his career after going to Southampton and learning from Hassan Hootel, who's a good manager. Redmond, Ward Prowse. It's good that they're showing the the team that you're actually going to be facing before the game starts. I just have to worry about that when it starts. It's good to see. We could prepare accordingly. Wolf, Walker Peters, Bertrand, Redmond. They're more a good team, you know, Southampton. It's just the centre backs, really, that are the main weak link that we could exploit. And hopefully, Jimenez, Triore, and Podence are ready for that. The ratings are going up. Podence 82, Triore 83. Let's let's see. Let's hopefully they got to play like it. It's the first game of the season. We've got to impress. Got to set a good standard, I think. Yeah, I think everybody's fine except Bully. <laughs> but it's alright. It's all good. And of course, we can switch players accordingly if we need to, if we change formation, if we're struggling, if we need to defend. But hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully we can score a few goals and guess, uh, get off to a good start in the Premier League. Let's get on with it. There's Dennis, Dennis the Menace. Hopefully he'll be for the other team. And yeah, he's starting off. There he is training ahead of his debut. Obviously debut to Brooks if we can bring him on, technically, from a substitute bench. So he'll be a good player if we need to bring some better attacking options. Or more more firepower up front if we need to. Obviously we might be a bit rusty. New game as well. But I've been playing a few games. World class is difficult. It is difficult on Ultimate Team at least. For me right now. But I just need to play more games. And then we can get even more comfortable with the game. And then eventually Legendary. But we're starting off world class. Against a decent Southampton side. The Molyneux is firing up. It's very exciting. The stadium is very good. The fans are very passionate. In the West Midlands where I live and yeah we know their lineup I think they're playing that 4 4 as you can see yeah let's go on with it balanced tactics we've got the tactics sorted obviously we'll see how it actually affects the players and if we have to adjust accordingly let me know what tactics you think are better for some players we'll see but yeah we lost the ball already great start Che Adams good ball from him to Walker Peters, former Tottenham man, good interception by Moutinho, tracking back, good to see, good to see, Track, uh, defensive work away for the team, Sicaria, first touch of the ball, good stuff, passes it to Neves, but I've just ran forward with it, I should have just passed it earlier, what was I thinking, Ings, see, it's going to be a hard match, it really is, especially if you want to be we have to win every game if we want to have a chance, or most games, but we've conceded. We're not going to be winning games like that. Oh, God. What have I done? It's a bloody not a good start. Absolutely ridiculous start. We've given away the ball once or twice already, and Southampton have just gone and, and attacked once and they've scored. How has this happened? How has this bloody happened? See, look, look at the, the left-hand side of the pitch. Look at the gap. Our defenders of course they've just all shifted and just left a big gaping hole for Armstrong to strike it's too easy 
Too easy and we're one nil down. Come on guys, fix up. Okay, Neves. Let me try and respond. Bounce back. Nice verbal. Good holding up the ball. Zakaria. Okay, we need the runners. We need runners, not just turners. You can't even turn anyway, he loses it. Now they're gonna be on the break. God. Maybe world class is too hard for me already. Holy crap. Walker Peters. He's been on the warpath. They've been abusing this side of the pitch. But good, good defending there. Okay, we're making the run now, good. Okay, use your pace. Nice. Now we're moving. To Raul, and he finishes it. Good pass. Squares it up to Raul. Simple finish. Centre backs exposed, as I wanted to see. Yeah, Jimenez gets off to a good start. First game, first goal for the striker. Good response for the guys. See, if we just make runs, then we're going to be good, especially with the pace we've got in the wings. And yeah, it's just a simple tap in. Good response, 1 1. It's, good, it's a good match so, uh, so far. Very exciting. Hope you're enjoying it. Okay, my, my recording might be lagging a little bit, so I apologise if that's the case. You can still hear my brilliant voice and commentary. Obviously, I think I'm getting my PC back into this uh, new accommodation I've got, so hopefully the camera quality and everything will be much better for the next couple of episodes in the future. Because obviously the camera quality hasn't been the best, I apologise. But hopefully you're still enjoying it. Zakaria made a good run. He's got into the game pretty well. He's settled in. And now Adama's got it. Cross it in. Unlucky, but we've still got it. Podence, he's got the pace to get past the man, but can he finish? No, straight at the keeper. Unlucky, but he needs to do better there finishing. So Kovic tries an audacious clearance. Doesn't work out. I know you. I know it's your debut, mate, but just relax. Good pass to Dharma. Dharma is making the run, which is good. Let's finish it near post. Yes, it's 2-1. Come on. Brilliant stuff. First goal for the absolute... Bloody powerhouse that is Adama Chorore. One of my favourite players. Just one of my favourite players in terms of... Look at his hair, it's beautiful. Even his hair is good. <laughs> but yeah, good run, good good passing movement. We j now we're flying. Now we're responding after the 1-0 deficit. We started to wake up a bit. And yeah, good near post finish. That's exactly where I went to the, wanted it to go. And yeah, now we're in front. We're giving the fans some, something to shout about. It's a good start. Fantastic stuff. Great recovery after the first disastrous t minutes of this game. But it's not over yet. They're still in this. Just need to try and create a gap or two goal cushion. That's more like it. But it's not going to happen if Ings gets the ball. What a save, but Adams collects it with the rebound. Oh, stop it with every time score goal. The bloody, I'm not defending properly, and the game always does this. I always do this. I don't know. I'm talking too much, but good dribbling by Che Adams. Not Che Adams, but the midfielder. Che Adams just in the right place at the right time. Ah, <sighs> God. Back to square one again. Okay, I see. I knew FIFA 21 was bloody high scoring games, but I just can't be asked to see it in real uh, when it actually happens. <laughs> it's just a, it just takes a lot out of you, you know what I mean? It's just more effort. Sometimes you just want it more comfortable. We haven't made it comfortable. It's been very exciting first 45 minutes, to be fair, though. But let's try and if we can sneak in the last minute goal of this half. Matinho, he's through. Yes, it's 3 2. Yes, that's so many goals. It's crazy. I might, yeah, just need to sort out my defending. Then, then I can level up in terms of difficulty. But yeah, it's just Matinho's making the runs. Everyone's, see, just, as soon as anyone makes runs, Southampton's defense just can't handle it. They just can't. Yeah, simple finish. Not even in the bottom corner. He doesn't need to be. Very good. I like it. They've added more like celebrate actions by the players, which is cool. Yeah, Moutinho's getting his goal. All the all the staples of Wolves are getting the goals today. Jimenez, Moutinho, and Traore. You can't complain for that. Pfft. Well, that guy just got bullied off the ball by my boy. 99 physicality, you know. Zakaria, can he get his first goal of the season? Why not? That's why. Gets intercepted. Good tackle. Moutinho. Keep on going. Good defender, to be fair. And that's going to end the half 3-2. You think that's the whole match? It's been a crazy start to this Premier League season. But yeah, let's try and make sure we wrap up the three points. Try and calm the game down. Try and shut out Southampton in a way that we haven't done. And then we'll be fine. Yeah, we've got most of the possession. 
but to be fair, Southampton they got the same amount of shots really, just one extra shot from us. Yeah, players are all fit and ready, which is good. And obviously, hopefully, as they play more games as well, they'll get better sharpness. I don't know if that affects sharpness, but it should because you think you think like at the start of the season, maybe some players aren't as sharp because they haven't played matches in quick succession in a while. So we'll see if that actually affects it. But yeah. But right now, it doesn't really matter if the, sh the players are sharp enough. It's all about getting those first three points in the first game. It just sets a good standard. It's just a good start. The good start is always helpful, isn't it? It's, you never want to lose your first game. Bowden's let's try and counter here. Jimenez is making the run. He's found him with a great long pass. Finish it. The defender's not getting close to him. He just isn't. abamyang has gone to Barcelona. Jimenez is not going to Barcelona. He's out of Wolves. He's a Wolves player and he's doing it. He's doing it. He is the one for us. He's our main man. And he's going to be getting a lot of goals this season. Do, don't be not sure of it. It's going to be fantastic. Look at that. It's just too easy. It's just too easy. Yeah, two goals already in the Premier League. Let's try and get him to a golden boot. Why not? Why not? Okay, now we've got the 2 0 cushion. We can just slow the pace down of the game if we can. <laughs> nice, Sakaria. Yeah, maybe we'll test out Brooks as well. That's the good thing about being in front. We don't have to worry about the substitutes always trying to carry the team forward when we're struggling. Let's try and just experiment with some other players if we need to later on in the match. We'll do that in a couple of minutes. Sakaria gets past this man easily. He's got great physicality, but not the best pass. Okay, now they're going to try and counter this. Che Adams trying to be the dream team with Danny Ings, but not this time. Yeah, see, now you can see why we need a centre back as well. That will help with the defence as well. Sakaria, good pass. It's just the wings we're abusing. And we can try and square it again. Patino, yes, it's 5 2. Thought he was offside, but it's not. Great. We can get. We can try and get a hat trick if we want. Moutinho and uh, obviously Jimenez. But yeah, Paul Dents again, just running down the wing. Easy, it's just easy as you like. Obviously, Southampton have to play forward because they want to try and catch up with us. But that's leaving them exposed at the back even more. And yeah, it's just a, it's a certified W now. It's a guaranteed one. It's just about who can get as many goals as possible. Oh, wait, why is the goalkeeper missed that? Psst. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to pass it like that. That was stupid. Okay, he's got that now. But it's just weird. The ball went next to Patricio, but he just never... The AI just did, decided, no, you're not going to catch that. You're just going to let the ball pass by. And then it ended badly. But it's alright. Good tackle by Sakaria. Now Moutinho's got it. It's not the best pass. Stevens. See, they always do this since FIFA 20. Just some weird ways of clearing the ball. It's not really realistic, is it? But, okay. It's funny funny to watch. But yeah, Sakari has been really good this game. Just really just... Sh just he, he's, he's played... He hasn't, it's not the best game he could have played, but he's played very settled into the squad. Oh, they scored. Calm. It's fine. Let's not try and concede one more, though, soon. Otherwise, it's going to be Southampton's... It's going to be our game to lose if that happens. Good tackle by Cody, proving why he should be starting. But we lose it straight away after. We always do that. Just bloody tackling the ball. Get the ball back and then we just lose it five seconds after. Okay, let's just get Marcel in. Why not? We have a, There's not really any for us. It's just about recovering. Just make sure our players don't run too much. And get tired. And get tired. We need them. Can't get our players too much tired. Especially as there's training drills and stuff. That can affect training. Fitness. Sakari has got it. Going for his debut goal, but gets blocked easily. See, the long balls work for Southampton, to be fair. Shane Long's got it now. We have to defend this. And we're not defending this. We're not defending that. Nobody's was on, nobody was on Danny Ings there. And that could have easily been 5-4. Just unlucky to be wide. Centre-backs need to be better there. We'll get, we'll, get once, we'll, we'll get a new one soon enough. Why am, I, why am I passing it straight back to them? I did this all the time. It's only a matter of time before I bloody can see the goal like that. I did that in the other career modes. <laughs> uh, okay, Troy is free. He's got space. Come on, use your f he's got his pace. 
pace is is pace is just too easy. It's just too overpowered in this game. But it's hit the bar. See, look at that! Look at that long ball. That was crazy. Just all long ball over the top, and then the foo. Good save. Okay, we can bring on Dendonka. Zakaria is getting a bit tired. See, using the position change already. Space hat's fine. Yeah, we've only got a couple of minutes to go. It's 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 pretty much over. Let's try and defend this though. Good tackle. Again, see, so I mean, we lose it straight after, but luckily Marcel picks it up. The substitute, the signing in the summer, in real life. Now he's gonna try and maybe get involved in the action himself. One more goal before the end. Why not? I say why not a lot. That Jimenez? Is that Jimenez? No, it's Neves. Ah, oh, it would be good to have a hat trick, but it's fine. Neves has got in in the act as well. All the staples of the Wolverhampton squad that's made them and established themselves in the Premier League have really got involved today and really got themselves the goals they we needed so much to score more goals in Southampton because our defence we can't rely on. Good finesse, and we got the goals. Six? Was it six three? Crazy start to the Premier League. Wait, it matches what's going on in real life. In real life, bloody Premier League's going men mental as well. So many goals being conceded. So many VAR decisions. Don't have to worry about that, but have to worry about EA instead. But it's not going to stop us. Let's go. Let's go, man. I'm so excited to play this season, man. And yeah, that's the end of the game. And yeah, good start to the season. Room for improvement in defence. But hopefully me getting involved in... Me playing more games will hopefully sort that out in world-class difficulty. And also... Let's get this transfers done and dusted. But we didn't need we didn't need we didn't need the centre back today because we had a good attacking play. We really stepped up after that catastrophic five minutes. Wait, was that debut a bit of a letdown? Let's just take time for him to settle. I think he had a decent game to be fair. He's a CDM as well, guys. He's not going to really score assists all the time. He's, um, never never as will build on his performance. Calm. More trophies. That should get my dopamine levels up. I don't. F I think I've ext extended the timeline for this episode. Don't think we'll have time for another match. But the interesting in signing Johnny, and he would obviously help us get a centre back. But we don't have any left back, so it makes sense. All our wolves, all our wolves players, eighty and above, are interested. We're getting interest by top six clubs and really good clubs. But this is what you got to think about as a manager. Outstanding, mate. So I, I've started you. I've given you. Obviously, Neto's playing in the, in the in the default eleven, but I put Podence in. Obviously, he's high rated and so much potential, and he proved himself decent as well. He got himself a good assist as well. He's, he's just his pace is just really works in this gameplay. You know what I mean? But yeah, hopefully, he can get a small assist as well and goals. Yeah, we're top of the top of the tab table. Jimenez and Matinho, and yes, yeah, just a great match. That was a very exciting match to start off things, but I'm not really surprised because I just FIFA 21 just been mental in that way. And yeah, it's just. It didn't feel, it just, didn't, it just felt like a new game in that sense, you know what I mean, uh, but yeah, we're still waiting to see, we could go in for some of these centre backs, but it'll be heavily a risk, I'd have to do 30 million and 25% release clause, and even then they might not accept, they'll probably ask for 40 mil or something, you know what I mean, so we'll see, just need to find the offer for Bolly. that's what we need, we've got a transfer offer for Miranda though, so maybe if a few of these players go for a million each let's say then maybe we can still afford to get the open when the of this world but yeah we've got 20 days till the end of the transfer window our next match is against crystal palace away we'll, we'll save that for episode two and then we'll play arsenal and then i think newcastle away we'll simulate newcastle in votes away but it'll be a long sim i won't press quick sim this time and yeah, that's good. You can have influence over the game anyway and not just rely on the fact that, oh, we're away from home. That means we're going to lose. God, those were the days. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that for second episode. We'll play all these three games. We'll play properly Crystal Palace Arsenal and then simulate the Newcastle game. And we'll get that last signing of the window of transfer deadline day. Don't you worry about that. So we're going to end it there for now. We're top of the table, technically. That's where we want to see. We never know. We could we could do a title challenge if we play well. But yeah, now nah, something tells me it's going to be a bit of a struggle because if we can seed three against Southampton, then God, we need to fix up for the other games. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was a, it was a good team, good match, good good start, a good start of the season, and yeah.
signings we've made this season. Let me know if you thought I made the wrong decisions in the signings. You're allowed to say that, but yeah, you're the manager just as I am. Let me, let me know suggestions so you have as much influence over the career mode as me and everybody else. And yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. Bottom right hand corner. Ring the notification bell if you haven't missed or if you don't want to miss a video or stream when it goes live. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time for the next episode. Good.